Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Wobble here, and today we're gonna be talking about Chiggity China. That was like the weirdest opening that I've ever done. Dave Wobble here, and welcome to FTD Facts, what we like to call the new era of school, where we teach you everything on everything. And you know what? First of all, guys, I gotta say, a lot of our fans out there have been asking for tons and tons of videos. As a matter of fact, a lot of our fans have been asking us to do a part two to our Japan video. But I will let you guys know this right now, that we are are working on it and I figured I'd let you know because we're talking about another country but for this video yes we're gonna talk about China because China it's big it's it's so big that you know we have to talk about it I mean it's it's, it's insane how big it is like they got problems over there. So China, for most of us, maybe some of us, okay, I don't really know where a lot of our viewers are coming from. Well, I mean, America, North America, all that sort of stuff. But for some of us, China is on the opposite side of the world. But you know what? Here in America, we are always complaining about the economy and how bad things are here. But for our first fact, let's keep in mind, in China, things are a lot worse there. Because over there, they estimate about 100 million people live off of one American dollar a day. That's just one American dollar, guys. Like, imagine if you had to live off of one American dollar a day. That's not even food. Now, actually, guys, before I get into the rest of the facts, first of all, I wanna know, if you would like to go visit China, hit that like button. Also, if you wanted to go to China, what would be the first thing that you would wanna see? Me, I would like to see the Terracotta Army because I think that's just the coolest thing ever. Now, speaking of going to China, if you ever go there, you do not want to break any laws. Because in China, they execute the death death penalty four times more than any other country throughout the world. Now we all know in China they use chopsticks to eat every meal. Okay, maybe not every single meal. I'm pretty sure that some Chinese people might use a fork and a knife and a spoon. Cause let's be honest, how are you supposed to eat soup with chopsticks? That's just insane. But here's the thing, in China when it comes to chopsticks, they estimate that they use 45 billion chopsticks a year. That's a lot of trees. Now here's a question for all you. Do you like to shop? I know I do, and I know I have a problem. I like shoes. I know I probably should have been born a girl. That explains <laughs> the pink shirt. Now for us North Americans, we would say the biggest mall is probably the Edmonton Mall. The one where they got the water slide and the roller coaster, that place I've never been, but I've always wanted to go. However, the South China Mall in Dongguan, China has over 2,350 lots. But the thing is, it's probably the most abandoned mall because only 47 of those lots actually have stores. China is also considered the longest, most continuous civilization, with historians dating their culture way back to 6000 BC. On top of that, it's also the longest continuous written language, where the first words were written on tortoise shells in the Shang Dynasty, which was somewhere between 1600 to 1100 BC. Well, good thing PETA wasn't around back then. Now, when I said that China was big, here is how big it is. On a worldwide chart, one out of five people are most likely Chinese because of the Chinese population. It currently has a population of 1.357 billion people. The second being India with about 1.2. Remember how I was telling you guys that I would like to go see the Terracotta Army? Well, this is because the Terracotta Army has over 7,000 statue warriors. And I think it's one of the most amazing things that has ever been created by man. But interesting fact about the Terracotta Army, it was found completely by accident. It was discovered by a farmer when he was digging for a well in 1974 near the city of Xi'an. Man, just imagine finding that. Did the guy get any money for it? Probably not. Now, okay, we look at this guy right here, Hitler, and would you say he was a bad man? Got a lot of people killed? Yeah, I would agree with you. And a lot of people would say that he is the worst, the most murderous son of a gun in human history. But believe it or not, the biggest murderer actually goes to Mao Zedong. Scientists think that he was responsible for killing over 65 to 70 million people during a peacetime. Mao was responsible for creating what he called the Great Leap Forward 
Edward, where he introduced the collectivization of China's agriculture. And this created probably the biggest famine in world history. And because of that, deaths from hunger reached over 50% in some villages of China. On top of that, he's one of the reasons why China is a heavy communist country. Did you know that China also has only one time zone? And that is Beijing time, which is UTC plus eight. But China wasn't always like this. Believe it or not, before the communists took over in 1949, China had over five different time zones. But where it is now, sunrise could mean 10 a.m. for some people. Now, paper money, we've been using it for a while. As a matter of fact, who knows? Maybe it'll eventually go and we'll just be using our debit cards. But China was the first country to ever use paper money, with the first form of paper money being dated all the way back to 1400 years ago. Over 35 million people in China live in caves. I think that's pretty cool, except I really hope they have a bathroom. Speaking of which, the bathrooms in China, yeah, they're just holes. They don't have toilets like you and me. So you literally have to squat over a hole like this and just give it all you got. Now, one really bad thing about China is it's known for its lack of safety standards. Not just in the workplace, but also when it comes to water. And as a matter of fact, clean water is such a huge issue in China that they estimate over 70 million people in that country are drinking contaminated water. Ugh. Which doesn't surprise me when I talk about this next fact, and that is every 30 seconds, some kid in China is born with a birth defect. Did you know that Hong Kong is not actually a city in China? Hong Kong is often referred to as a protectorate. This is because the land that Hong Kong was on was owned by the British for about 99 years. Now since then it's gone back over to China, but there was a huge scare because Hong Kong didn't want to become communist. Because let's be honest, Hong Kong makes a lot of money. But China decided to adopt a different philosophy because, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So Hong Kong is pretty much left to its own accord. So guys, that is it for us here on F2D Facts, the channel where we teach you everything about everything. Whether we're talking about space, the cosmos, we're talking about stranger things, or we're just talking about Ariana Grande or Ariana. But here's the thing, guys. We like to do videos on stuff that you guys want to know about as well. So leave a comment down there. These guys behind me are doing that. So be sure to let us know what you guys want to see and we'll get right onto it. So guys, thanks for watching. My name is Dave Wobble. Be sure to hit me up on Instagram or if you guys want to come over for a good laugh, head on over to my own YouTube channel. It's down there in the description box below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Cool? Bye.